Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to run you through the bishop's simplified method. Now the bishop's simplified method is the preferred method for method of slices because it yields more accurate solutions compared to the Swedish method of slices. And the key assumption in bishop's simplified method is that tangential interslice forces are equal and opposite, but horizontal interslice forces are not. So this is what it means in a picture. Say we have a slice which makes up part of a soil element. We have the usual forces which are acting on a slice, so the force due to the weight of the slice, as well as the shear stress which acts at the base of a slice, and the normal stress and any poor water pressures as well. But in this case we have to also worry about the horizontal interslice forces which are acting on the slice. Now I'm not going to run through the derivation for the expression of factor of safety which is used in Bishop's simplified method because it is more it is more of a complicated process but the end result of the derivation will yield us this expression here and one thing you might notice is that we have f factor of safety on both the left side and the right side of the right hand side of the expression and the steps which we need to follow in Bishop's method is to first assume a trial value for f on the right hand side and then through an iterative process we converge onto the true value of f on the left hand side for a trial circle and this procedure is com commonly used in computer programs and as I mentioned earlier it tends to provide a higher it pr tends to provide higher accuracy solutions than the Swedish method and that's it for today's video. Hope this helps, guys.